This has been a long time coming, but it is worth it. Absolute masterpiece. This is Parker, the Martini Edition Last Call. This is, of course, the box. Got a lovely box here. Beautiful, and there's the stories in it. The score, Slay Ground, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Now, the first two are by Darwin Cook. The other one, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. So uh, there you've got all the various creators. And IDW. Now, this book is 360 pages. And it is a quality book. Absolutely beautiful. And let's just go through. Now, I've got his <clears throat> volume one. And this is worth checking out as well. Absolutely but You can see the different stories there. The Hunter. The man with the getaway face, the outfit, and the seventh. So you've got there with over 75 pages of extras. Now, weirdly, they don't put that. They don't put that on there. They have put no 100 pages or 20 pages or whatever of extras. There's a lot of extras, so I'm not certain why they didn't include it there. Also, you've got volume two there. Just minor issue. <coughs> Doesn't have volume one. Very strange. No, I'm strange that they just didn't do it. However, I've got the other ones, earlier ones. Well, I've unfortunately only got two of them. I will be getting rid of these. I'll be putting them on uh, online but at some point. But uh, Parker, and obviously Parker there, Richard Stark. And, uh, well, they're brilliant. But the colour is slightly different. Now, the colour, they keep, they always change the colours. I don't know why. But this, this is the one from, obviously, this book. And I'm just going to show the colours. And you've got here the orange. The orange is slightly different. Slightly different from the actual, the bigger one. And let's just go for it. But so I just want to point that out. So you might turn around and say, what's well, strange. Why have I done that? And again, they've got volume two there. I mean, this is just lovely. Look at that. It just looks luxurious. Got obviously, there, just beautiful. And nothing on the back, of course. Now, I've opened it very carefully. I've basically opened it just by doing the standard front and back. So I've just opened it up and then carefully sort of spread it out a couple of times just so it just, I don't know, just hopefully that makes it, because I noticed it was very tight when I bought it. And so when I opened it, I initially heard a few, a few little slight cracks. I thought, oh, better be more careful. So I opened it properly, not like an omnibus. Basically, you should open it like an omnibus, I think. Just treat it with a bit of care. So uh, I've got that. And it's 360 pages, just come out. It, apparently it was, uh, says here, um, I think it says uh, 2020, yes, May 20, 2022. So it's just out. But I've seen online, it seems to suggest it's November 2021. Uh, maybe it was going to come out then, but it didn't. And uh, you've got obviously all the special thanks there. Obviously there, Bruce Tim, the Westlakes, um, Ed Brubaker, etc. And you've got the Martini Edition last call. Now I'm not going to go particularly for the stories. The stories are absolutely superb. Uh, they're just, I will show obviously a few pages of those, but uh, I mean, look at that, just glorious. Just beautiful artwork all the way through. And there's the contents. You've got uh, three guys walk into a bar, Parker Pros, Process Art as well. It's got a lot. I would love to see them bring out a massive volume like this of the pencil work. If they've got any more, I mean, I'd probably buy it. I'd, I'd probably buy it if they brought out a special bonus, massive volume edition I'm certain I would, uh, that I just love the pencil work. I mean, the pencil work is just great. Look at that. If it's all been uh, sort of recorded, of course, that's the thing sometimes. If, if it's been inked, that's it. It's gone. But if you've got that original pencil work, it's been scanned, it's been stored, that would be superb. There's obviously lots of examples in here. So, uh, but like I said, the colour has slightly changed. Maybe it's my just imagination, but it just looks, and also the artwork, because it's slightly bigger, is slightly not as sharp. It's just, I mean, it's still amazing. Absolutely amazing artwork. I love the panel structure. I just love the, I mean, it's very, very traditional. There's no real sort of super fancy panel structure. You know, we're sort of doing it over different whole weird things that quite often, which I always find makes the story harder to read sometimes. I mean, if you just look at it, you know, it's sort of up, down, up, down, all over the place. And you think, was well, that supposed to be? And then you end up reading, you say, oh, that's strange. Why the story moved on a bit? I prefer the more traditional sort of uh, going from uh, top. To, to, and that's what this is. And he's got like nine panels. Most of the time, nine panels. But you've also got these lovely, brilliant full page ones. And they're just glorious. Lots of silhouettes and those sort of things. Love it. 
all the characters that cast, they've all just got personality. They've all got a character that's just... I mean, even the support characters, so even the person that's at the front desk and sort of seems to be different, uh, which is great. You've got the guards and things and people. They've all got characters, which is... I think it's superb, but it's just, it is really a beautiful, beautiful book all the way through. So that's that one. And again, I'm not going to show the story because that, read it, because it's just a brilliant story. Absolutely, both are brilliant stories. All three are brilliant stories. So let's just go through to the next one. And this one, now that one was in 1964. And then the artwork does slightly change, it's slightly different. You've got a different colour as well. Now I can't compare this one because I haven't got it. I don't know if it's even available in one of the books. I assume it is. This one's Buffalo, New York, obviously, 1969. I never actually get to the point where I feel that it's really of that period in some of these. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But it doesn't sort of like you're not thinking, or there's like references to various... Because there's quite a lot of pages there where you've got no you know, dialogue or anything. It's just basically the, brilliant, the story just going on, showing obviously a car there what happens etc etc and then you might have like <laughs> look that's it the whole page look and you've got fairground there fun island i love the um logos and things that's quite often the things that i always love just love brilliant sort of 60s style and this is great got a lovely fold out fun island you've got all the details free show mitts one just brilliant touches marooned fun house next tiki, oh, tiki time Something's Hawaiian. Very, very... I, I must admit, I've, there's loads of books on that subject, Tiki Time. It's not something that's ever really particularly appealed to me, but it's just fascinating to see. But it's just beautiful. Again, beautiful artwork. Can't say if the blue, whatever, is the same as in the other one, if there was one of that one. Not certain. I haven't got it, so... Uh, but it's got here. Uh, voodoo. You've got... Just brilliant. But other than that, there's not really what I'd say lots of period detail that I would say, oh, that's the 60s. Again, maybe it is. Maybe if someone's in the States, maybe they might turn around and say, you know what? Of course it is. That you know, that really feels like the 60s in the United, you know, United States. I never lived in the 60s in the, in the United States, so I have no idea if it was uh, like London and Kent and those sort of areas. Then I might sort of think, oh, that sort of feels that sort of period. But uh, anyway, I just think it's beautiful. Now, you've got that. When I was going through this, and I haven't read it yet, I'm, I've only just got it, so um, it's, I came along to the, the end story, and I thought, that's strange, that looks a bit like Ed Brubaker and um, Sean Phillips. <laughs> I thought, oh, that was a strange style, and then, of course, it was, so it's quite odd, just suddenly, I think that's, uh, and I love Ed Brubaker, and uh, it's just criminal, criminal is some of the best, and there's loads of books that come out recently from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. They're just masterpieces. And it just yeah, some more uh, examples. Again, lots and lots of pages with no dialogue. I mean, you really, that's just great to actually, sometimes books can be overly excessive with the, the text and things. And But I think sometimes it's clearly, good. however, this one weirdly is the same colour, near enough. Mm. So it's dropping the book. That make a nice dent in it. Yeah, slightly uh, darker blue. And you can hear the crack there, just then. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not uh, I'm not going to be selling this one. So uh, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it will uh, be falling apart in my hands over the years, I'm certain. So, uh, I mean, obviously, uh, I don't want it to do that. But uh, um, I think this is just, you can see straight away, brilliant Sean Phillips. I just love a brew break and Sean Phillips works. It's a very short story. It's not very long, but it's still... Oh, I love that. A little, little bit of change of colour. Most of it is all like one colour, blue or something. We obviously black and white or cream because it's all cream paper. You can see the cream paper there. Now, it does change when you get to the back. So you can see that. Maybe you can see it just about. You can see that you've got cream all the way through and then it turns white. I've just not, and that's obviously the bit with it, without all the, uh, the, the story. You got here beautiful, beautiful little all the pictures there. Absolutely superb. I love that sort of stuff. Just makes that extra special touch. Oh, so on that page, just it seems to be stuck there. Oh, and there's another example. Just absolutely superb bonus material at the back. 
uh, on some more. Look at that pencil work, just beautiful. Just love. Now, if they brought out a book of that, I would definitely be buying a book just full of these sort of brilliant Darwin Cook ones in this sort of size. It would be absolutely superb. Let's see, and there's some more examples here, Parker illustrated novels. And you can see more pencil work there as well. Like I say, don't want to show it all, because, well, this to me is a must buy. This is just absolutely superb. Super quality book, yet another masterpiece from IDW. IDW, just, I love their work, and it's just absolutely, this is brilliant. I say, really well worth the wait. I, like I say, I had this on pre-order for so long, so long, and actually I ended up uh, cancelling it a few times and put reordering it because uh, I just wondered if it would ever going to come out, and finally it did. So uh, I'm really glad it did. And it's just a masterpiece, an absolutely superb book. I'd say minor issues. I'd say the colour, slight difference in colour. Not certain why they chose the colour change. Maybe in the comments it might say reason why a slight shift in the colour. I don't know. But it's uh, just brilliant. And I love all this sort of thing with book one, when they put the, the book one. Just, just that I love that sort of thing. I love cha uh, chapters. Like the old Fantastic Four number one, Fantastic Four number two, and those sort of things when they had those sort of chapter one and then chapter three, two, three, etc. Something you'd, maybe they do it now, I don't know. However, this is just a masterpiece. Oh, and look at that as well. You've got some beautiful paintings there. Just absolutely superb. Absolutely brilliant. Right, well, that's it. I think an absolutely masterpiece. Uh, let's just quickly show this again. This, of course, protects it, and I will be putting that away. But it's um, it's a book to be absolutely reread and read and read and read and read and reread multiple times. I think it's just lovely. So uh, that's it. Totally recommended, and um, probably more than usual. Super recommended.